so your iPad ditched the home button to free up a bit more screen space. Pretty nice, right? But what about all the tasks that your home button used to do for you? No worries, the changes are relatively minor. And before you know it, you'll be wondering why iPads ever had a home button to begin with. To get started, we used to wake up our iPad using the home button. Now, just tap on the screen. And instead of pressing the home button again to unlock your iPad, now you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Now I'll go ahead and open an app. The home button was great for returning us to the home screen. Now you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to be brought back to the last home screen you accessed. Likewise, if you were on a different home screen, you would just press the home button to bring you back to your first home screen. Now we just swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Double tapping the home button used to show us all of our open apps. Now we just swipe up from the bottom to about the middle of the screen and hold your finger there until the app switcher appears. You can swipe left or right to see all open apps. Swipe any app up to close it. Or tap any app to open it. You can quickly change the previous app you were working with, starting with your finger in the middle of the bottom of your screen and swiping to the right. Swipe to the left to move through your other recently used apps. Activating Siri used to be done by holding in the home button. Now it's the same idea, just this time you hold down the power button. What were last night's hockey scores? Here are the results from the NHL yesterday. Similarly, taking a screenshot used to be done by pressing the home and power button at the same time. Now to take a screenshot, you press either of the volume buttons and the power button at the same time. 